on, ladies. Bend over the rules already. Protect yourself at all times. Obey my commands at all times. Touch gloves now if you want. At the sound of the bell, come on out. Handle your business. Let's go. We knew last December, once Juliana Pena broke through, that this rematch was an eventuality. It is upon us here at American Airlines Center in Dallas, Texas, to headline at UFC at 277. All right, ladies, first round. Ready to fight. Ready to fight. Yeah, let's go. Amanda Nunes is in yellow. Juliana Pena in the black and gold befitting a champion. Amanda starting off in the South Boss dance and then switches it up. Juliana heavy on that front leg with a wide stance. Roger Crawl now the chief voice in the corner of Amanda Nunez. Amanda starting southpaw much slower. She needs to maintain distance. This fight has to stay out at range. I think Amanda's here so she can try to blast high kicks. Because those can't get countered. They can be defended, but you don't counter high kicks. And she has a very good high kick off the left side. That's what she knocked out Holly Holm with. The issue for me with turning southpaw off your Amanda Nunes is it invites Juliana to shoot on that lead leg as Juliana leads with the right hand there. I think Nunez would be served well to throw those leg kicks. She landed a lot of hard outside leg kicks in fight number one. But you can see already the approach is much slower for Amanda Nunez. There it is. There's a hard one to the calf right away. And Juliana's a little more patient in her approach. She's not rushing. She's not... Nice uppercut for Nunez, who kept talking about precision in terms of her strikes all week long. And you knew she would be a little bit more deliberate, at least early on. And here's the beauty in Juliana. She just eats those. We haven't seen many people take those, stri those strikes from Amanda. Juliana just takes them. She's very, very durable. Very tough. Amanda says she did a lot of sparring for this camp. And that's something she didn't get to do in the last fight. She also said she didn't get to do much running for the first fight. What was the reason for that? Well, she had COVID and then she got sick. There were a lot of issues going into that first fight. Knee injury as well. But Juliana doesn't buy into any of that. She sure. goes, these are just excuses. Right. These are excuses that you're making because you got beat. And she thinks that she's going to show tonight that this is just the way that the interactions between these two go. But right now, Amanda started well. Already some redness underneath that left eye of Pena. Ooh. Oh! She is clipping her with that little counter right hook. Every time Juliana tries to, to, to enter, she hits her with that counter right hook right on the temple. That's twice she's hit her there. Yeah, around that ear area, too. And it's not overly fast. She's just placing it. Roger Crawl calling for Nunes to keep touching her. Puts your whole body out of whack when you get hit me on the ear like that. Oh, oh, she heard her. She heard her with that. Bro, that choppy right hand is killing Juliana. And she's chopped up the inside low kick. Wow. Amanda looks really good. She looks very good. Measure, not forcing anything. Some swelling on that lead leg of Pena as well, in addition to the two knockdowns. And now it's got Juliana afraid to enter. And that is where she found success. She just went forward. Under a minute here to go round one. Pretty good sequence there for yep, Pena. Yep, that was a good one by Juliana. Took a chance and landed. But just the whole approach from Amanda, she looks better Juliana to this point. There. Yeah, good by Juliana. Oh, there it is, jab by the champ. Yep. On that stick, back on that stick. 
Shot from Nunes. I don't believe that's smart. More wrestling is better for Juliana Payne. Ooh. Good right hand for Pena now. Good jab there by the champion. Pretty good response oh. late in the round. Now Nunes returns fire. Both women landed in that exchange. Great start through five minutes. Right here, you see the right hand by Amanda. Clips Juliana behind the head, right around the ear. Again, right hand lands right on the temple, drops Juliana again. Juliana, Juliana lands a beautiful jab here. Right hand by the champion. All right, ladies, second round. You ready to fight? You ready to fight? Now, let's go. DC, you really seem to like the messaging from Rick Little there after that round. Love that. He said whenever she's southpaw, easy fix. All we got to do is get to our clinch. She can strike there. Watch the, the lead hand, but she cannot defend the takedown. So look for Juliana to be a little more aggressive in the grappling in this round. Well, Pena has some real power. When she lands, it, it takes offense. Oh! That's that lead hand! That's that lead hand! Oh, she's hurt bad. She's hurt bad. But Nunez can't rush. She's got to watch that right hook every time she tries to enter. Amanda just sits on that thing. Kenya seemingly has her wits about her. But she's still leaning oh, in like that. Massive right for Nunez now. The knockdowns are wow. piling up. She's wow. rushing in. That's what she did last yes. fight, though. But this time she's getting caught. Exact same counter, same stance. And now she's got to be careful of the high kicks. Because every time she rushes, that is where she found success in fight one. But now Amanda's in a different stance. So she is not picking up the right hand. That right eye of Nunez, though, is very swollen. Oh, Pena with a big land now. Beautiful combination by the champion there. She got her going backwards when she threw that combination. And Pena is tucking her chin well and raising up that left shoulder to try to partially block that. She just got to be careful in these exchanges. Yeah. She, she sticks her chin up in the air. When it gets too extended, when she throws too yes. many, her hands come out of position, and Amanda's dropping that counter right hand on her. Right. That was another one. Another one. Stay tight, stay tight. 2.30, Well, Pena, the type of fighter you're going to have to separate from consciousness. Yeah. There's no quit in this woman. She will not quit. She's going to continue to press and continue down the path of trying to win. And as long as there's time on the clock, she feels like she can draw out that quit in Amanda Nunes, which I feel like is absurd to say. But Pena believes that. Well, she believes it because she did it. I mean, she pulled it out in that first fight. And she thinks she can do it again. Dean Thomas, what do you have, sir? Pena has that thing, sort of like Charles Oliveira. She's getting dropped, but she can lay on her back and recover. Yep. And they know that they're not going to go jump on top of her. So she can just lay on her back and recover. Why is Amanda so afraid to grapple with her, Dean? Amanda's the black belt herself. I don't know. I don't think she's afraid to grapple with her. I think they're just saying we have a better chance on our feet. Let's okay. not give her any chances on the ground. Under two minutes here to go in round two of a possible five. Ooh. Oh, she stunned her again. She stunned her again, man. It's so interesting to watch. Oh, oh massive left. left for Nunez now. Her hands look crispy tonight. And that was a straight left. Oh, my goodness. Nunez welcomes Pena back to her feet. Now, the question is, does it get discouraging if Nunez keeps hitting her like that, but Pena keeps getting up. Well, now, 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 now Pena's, Amanda's fighting conventional. Okay, she switches back again. Throws that same strike. This, this 
Switching stances is proven very difficult for Juliana Pena. Oh, she went with a, a back fist. It's like an up elbow. Yeah. Nunez starting to crack a wry smile now. But look at Pena, though, John. She is not discouraged. She's still going forward. Nunez pretty seamless, switching up the footwork. Oh, she stung her again. again. She stung her by switching. Every time she hits her, it, it really is affecting Juliana. Pena now with a flurry, lands a knee. And this is where Juliana needs to be. She needs to be in tight, right? When she finally finds a way to get into range, she's got to stay there. She can't go back to distance. Let's take a look here. Boom. There's one that drops her. And a hammer fist right afterwards. And look how she's running forward. And Amanda just stops oh and cracks her. Oh, my goodness. Her. That was a big shot. I mean, these are the shots that put out Cyborg, right? Well, that one, oh, her that eyes one rolled her. Yep. back in her that head. That one hurt her. Amanda Nunes, the first woman in UFC history to record three knockdowns in a single fight. Round three is upon us. You know, and, and that's just another record that she didn't have, right? Yeah. We have seen her break record after record after record, and you can add that one. And that's one that I probably would have thought that she would have had already, but nobody's able to get up after she drops him. Right. Juliana's just that tough. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh Step in, goodness. spinning elbow. That was nasty. That was nasty. And it, it, we'd have to look at that again to see where it landed, but it looked like she got wobbled. Pena is tough, man. My goodness. So tough. Okay, that one didn't quite land. It, it landed to the body. It landed under her arm. Pena has yet to attempt a takedown. And Pena's corner's telling her, you should be able to get to the clinch, Juliana. You got to find your way in there. There it is. That's what they wanted. Juliana did a good job of, of clinching, landing knees last time, and really just taxing Amanda from in close. Amanda got free easy that time. A front kick to the body. Amanda is much more composed. Yeah. And here, we're in the third round. She doesn't look tired at all. There were a lot of people that questioned the motivation of Amanda Nunes. Long-reigning champion like that gets beat. Is she motivated to climb the mountaintop? She looks as good as she's ever looked. She looks as good as she's ever looked, and physically, she's very well prepared. So she's recovering from all these exchanges. She's not slowing down at all. Nice shot there by oh, the champ. Yep. Juliana tagged it. Oh, another one. She got hurt. Oh. oh, nice counter right now from Nunes after Pena landed her most significant strike of the fight. But she is going, if Amanda Nunes is going to take this belt off Juliana Pena, she's not to fight for the next 13 minutes. Because Juliana is not going to stop pursuing her and chasing her down. Look at that. Good straight right by, Good straight right the, by the champion. champion. Oh, look at this. Nunes takes her down. She kind of threw her down. And look at her step in the middle of the knee there. KC control. Good elbow there by Amanda Nunes. Payne is doing a good job of controlling her posture. Nunez corner calling for square hips, and they want her to push down on Pena's face. Juliana trying to control posture here. Guard closed. That was very interesting there. Juliana had her legs open. Amanda could have passed the half guard very easily there, but she didn't. Juliana's trying to utilize a high guard, but very difficult when they're all this sweaty and slippery into the third round. Juliana's going on bar. Or at least trying to. Triangle. Triangle, triangle, triangle attempt. Yep. If Amanda lays in her guard like this and doesn't mind her P's and Q's, she can get caught. Yep. Juliana is very, very tricky off of her back. Yeah, Amanda can't be using this to relax. If she uses this to relax, she's going to get caught. It's just these kind of techniques are so hard, no gi. Yeah. When people are slippery, 
But Amanda, what she, what, excuse me, what Juliana's trying to set up is a right arm bar. Oh, nice elbow there. Oh, oh another one gets through. Oh, and another oh, one. That one's oh, that one split her open. You could see it happen right on the hairline. Juliana's got to control her posture and not let her lift up where she could drop down and get power with that. There's another one. Nasty. She cut her open with that one, too. She keeps going to this high guard, but it's impossible to control those shoulders. Oh, on the plata, but too low on the arm. Too low on the arm. She can use this to sweep, though. If she, she starts getting into her, she's, it looks like she might have the glove. No. Nah. Oh. Nunez got out. She can go leg lock. Oh, look at all the blood. It's all in the hairline, though. Yeah, it is. It's not a bad spot. The cut men will, will really do a good job of working on that. They've, de they've dealt with much worse in regards to cuts. But every minute that she's letting a Amanda be on top of her like this, she has the opportunity to land more of these elbows and cut her up. Waning seconds of round three. Big round for the former champion. And Pena might need a finish over the final two rounds to retain her title. Oh, there's blood all in her hair. And Juliana Pena remarkably barely breathing heavy after 15 grueling minutes. Rick Little urgent in that corner after round three. You know, we look at and we speak about Amanda Nunes looking so good. Juliana Pena is showing very good herself. Amanda takes it down. Beautiful Amanda, take down beautiful by Amanda. Takedown by Amanda. This and, is big. And saw the success she had in the last one on the ground, so she goes back to it. The last time we saw this was her against Jermaine Durandamy because she didn't want to strike with her. She Rick, took her down going, over and Rick, over for 25 over. minutes. And this seems like what she's going to try to do to Juliana. 10 minutes. Well, it's just she had such a clear advantage in that last round in maintaining that position and landing those brutal elbows. And I think it's when Juliana goes high guard. Like you said, Joe, she goes high guard. That's a little better. Oh, that's a little, that's much better. Oh, oh, she, oh, she clipped her. Big shot from Amanda. When she goes high, Amanda turns that elbow over. Because she's bringing her legs up and controlling the posture, but Amanda's hand is framing off of her face. So whenever she does throw, she just rotates it over the top. She's but, trying to secure a triangle. Oh, yeah, she doesn't stop. And now on the puck. Same thing, though, too low. Amanda's out, and she's on top. But this is grueling now, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Now we're making Amanda work. Juliana is making Amanda keep up with these defenses. She can't just stay on top and pick her pace for striking. Honestly, when Juliana's throwing up these submissions, too, she's grabbing the glove. You heard the official yep. say, yep. in between, watch the gloves. Yep. Juliana's keeping her in place when she's on that omoplata by grabbing the, grabbing the glove. Oh, no. oh, arm bar. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, my goodness. This is tight. This is real tight. She got it. Joe, she might have it. She might have it, but the legs are oh, in the no, way. No, no, no. Her elbow's over the hips. She lost oh, it. Oh, she lost it. Wow, that was so close. It was so close. Incredible resolve by Nunez to escape. Wow. But now, let's see if Juliana can scramble back to her feet. But this is much safer for Amanda Nunez here. Yes. Side control, not in the full guard. Much better. Yeah, that, that, Juliana's guard is so dangerous. Man, she almost had it. She had it. Roger Crawl losing his mind to our immediate right. Not sure if he wants her upright or what. Great defense by Amanda Nunez. And Juliana back into full guard again, but now she's got her head awkwardly pressed up against the cage, which is gonna limit her ability to go side to side. Joe, this is Nunez's problem, though. Nunez is not squared up on the hips from the guard. Right. Look at Juliana, she's already sliding her hips off to the side. Yes. Uh, you gotta stay square when you're in somebody's full guard. She's gonna try to do the same thing. Oh, those are big elbows. Oh, those are huge Three elbows. For oh, look. And Pena split wide open. Now she's back up to her feet. 
Oh, Page is bloody up bad. And battered under two minutes in round four. 19,000 plus being heard from here in Dallas. Oh, my Over goodness. Here right now for Nunes. Another takedown for Amanda without much resistance. Well, there's a lot of, a lot blood, of blood on Juliana's face. A lot of blood on her face. But, I mean, Juliana is so dangerous on her back. So dangerous. Twice she's had arm bars locked in pretty tight. And never stops going for it. And if she wasn't so slippery, she might be done. She's going for it again. Going but again. she doesn't have it. It's but the elbows out. Now she's going to switch the triangle. Right. Switch the triangle, but the left arm's not in. This round feels like an eternity in the best of ways. Under a minute to go. This has been a very long round. I mean, with, stop, the, stop, with the effort stop. that these women have put out there, you can let them. Incredible. Let them just play pity pad a little bit. Nunez seems to be really enjoying herself at this stage of the fight. Lands a left hand now. Now, this is where Juliana really wants to pile oh. it on. Oh, she clipped her. She did. It looked like she staggered Nunez there. But then Nunez took her down. Yeah, seemed like maybe Nunez was working into a takedown. She likes to attack the right arm. You hear Nunez's coach telling her, keep her hands aside. Yes. Hey, but this round was grueling for Amanda. If Huge. she wasn't tired before, she's going to be tired now. Going into round number five. This was a grueling round. <laughs> round four complete. North of seven minutes of ground control time to this point in the fight for Nunez. Here's a clash of heads that opened up a, one of the cuts. Pena is in shape, man. Look at her. She's not even tired. She's bouncing to start round five. Oh, Fifth and final, final round. Right Nunez right has fought right exceedingly right well, especially given all the pressure on her coming in tonight. Five minutes to decide the UFC Women's Bantamweight Championship. What a fight. This, this has been so fun. If you're Nunez, guys, you gotta manage risk a little bit here late. You I have think, to. No? Well, she's yeah. gotta be ahead, right? Oh, she got. But I mean, look at the swelling on her face. Juliana Pena has landed some really big shots. Well, I mean, you think she's ahead? Yeah, uh -huh. yeah. We looked at some of the scorecards tonight. You never know. But this is smart by Nunez. But Nunez has to be very careful because Juliana Pena is not okay just laying on her back. She is going to throw up 10 submissions this round trying to defend this title. And she's isolating the right arm with an overhook. It's because Nunez's hand is on the ground. Remember what I just said earlier about wrestlers? Yep. You cannot leave an arm on the ground. It feels safe. She switched into a triangle. She might have it. And she'll switch to Noma Plata. No good. The, the fence is blocking her ability to transition, but she's gonna go back to oh. try and go. Oh, okay. almost had it. But she's making this a dog fight. Oh. Oh, look, she's got a dog. Amanda's got, got an a anaconda dog. An anaconda, yep. But is she gonna roll? Look at the blood pouring out of Juliana's head. Is Amanda willing to roll to finish? Nope. Nope. What an absolute war. Three and a half to go. Nunez seems content to play with fire. She can't help but smile. Oh, she went another takedown. Oh, 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 my goodness. And that was kind of sloppy. Yeah, but Pena's tired, too. They're both exhausted. But if you're Nunez, you stay in side yes. control. Stay That's here. what our coach wants. Stay here and beat oh. her up with elbows. And for Juliana, she's got a hip escape. Amanda's keeping her in place with that half Nelson. Look at the half Nelson right there with the left arm. Juliana can't turn to her knees because of the half Nelson. Nunez six for eight on her takedowns thus far, under three minutes now to go. Nunez step, goes back in the half guard. Pena's gonna start playing her game now. Pena back in the full guard now. Yep. And Pena rolling to a Kimura. She's rolling to a Kimura on that left arm. I can't see how her hands are connected, but the urgency on Amanda's face yeah. leads me to believe that this might be locked in. Well, she's got to be very careful. Now, Juliana Payne is a champion's champion, man. She is fighting her butt off, even though she's behind. She's fighting her butt off. Yep, she her is. hands are locked. Her hands are locked, but look, she gave him her back.
Oh my goodness, this great defense. Such a great, great defense by Amanda. Giving her the submission threat to make her defend in order to let go of that Kimura because it was getting started. And less than two minutes to go. In what has been a fantastic fight. An amazing, amazing fight. As memorable as any UFC Bantamweight Championship fight in the division's history. Regardless of what happens here, Amanda Nunes wins this fight as it feels like she is. You know that there's an equal in this weight class. Her name is Juliana Payton. Yeah. And what Juliana Payton is doing gives hope to everybody that she will face going forward. That there is a way to go and fight Amanda Nunes if you are willing to take the chances like Juliana Payton has. You can't count Juliana's guard no. out. I mean, She'll here she trying. is, a minute 15 to go, and she's still throwing up arm bars and had the wherewithal to land the up kick immediately after Nunez became an ungrounded opponent. Oh, oh big right oh. hand for Nunez. Oh, that would hurt her. Nunez trying to go crucifix here, Joe. Juliana's fighting very hard. To yeah, that Juliana's a dog, man. She really is. She is a dog, bro. Oh, she's got her back. Oh, she's going for the oh. choke. Oh. oh, she's got it. Oh, she's got it. That is tight. Oh, that is locked in. She's got it. Oh, oh she's got it. Breaks fight. the body triangle. Oh, my goodness. Juliana <laughs> is an animal. She's an animal. Final 30 seconds. Amanda's going for an arm triangle now. She's going to press that arm. Try to get it to the side of her neck. Juliana knows it. She hip escapes. But Amanda is forcing yes. her to defend so she can't attack. Amanda's working. Working and in incredible shape. Her conditioning for this fight cannot be denied. Look, she's dancing now. She's like, I got my title back, girl. Amanda Nunez said that she was not right before the first fight, and she proved it tonight. And that will do it. The greatest of all time came to fight tonight. And wow. in all likelihood will regain double champion status. Wow. That's crazy. That's something we kind of skimmed over. She's trying to become double champ for the second time. Yeah. It's not like she's just wanting the championship. She's going to be the double champion again. Again. Which is crazy. But in all fairness, who's in the featherweight division? But, 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 but Joe, yeah. she's defended the belt three it's times. It's true. It's <laughs> true. But the reality is it's... You should have double just twice if she went. Well, yeah. and in I any mean, division, one of the harder things to do, I don't have to tell Daniel this, is to relinquish a belt and get it back, right? Yes. To become a two-time divisional champion, and in all likelihood, that is the new reality for Amanda Nunez. Just what a performance by Amanda. I mean, she had a great game plan, an unexpected game plan with that southpaw stance, utilizing that beautiful check left hook. Her that conditioning was, was on point. And we said that coming into this fight. Look at her physically. She looked much better. She looked leaner, yeah. more muscular. Amazing. Too late, girl. Come on. As she got tired, she still was in the fight. She still did the things necessary. She landed this, I mean, this right hand was her money shot all day. Just the adjustment to go southpaw really caused the champion problems because her best punch has always been her right hand. But it's coming from a different stance now, so it was really giving Juliana problems early. Juliana got better late, so then Amanda goes to the wrestling. And here you just see her physically dominating her to take her down. And then the ground and pound. Elbows, you can even see this cut open up there. Right here, another level change. Amanda just drives over her head, but gets her feet running until she gets the takedown. Then here she gets her hands locked, picks her up, sets her down. But let's not forget, Juliana Pena threw up 25 submissions while on her back and came very close to multiple. But Amanda just fought so well tonight, as you see her in the octagon with her daughter, Reagan, and her wife, Nina. Here's Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score the contest 50-45, 50-44, and 50-43 for the winner by unanimous decision. And now, undisputed UFC bantamweight champion of the world.